Okay, I'm getting ready to start the axles. Building the axles. I'm just starting to cut out the first piece right here. And I'm uh, getting ready to cut the rough cut on the second piece for the second axle. So you can watch me here cut that. Okay, here we go. So these are gonna be my two axles for the 2470. I'll get this here. Set it over here. Set the I'm done with the nibblers, and I always dump out these little bits when I'm after I get done, so I don't spill them. Put that away. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the camera over to the sh to the shear, and I'll show you it real quick. I'm gonna do that. I got I got the rough edges. I got the rough edges on the outside cut with the, sh the nibbler. So I now I got to make a perfect cut. This one is already cut, but this one here I got to make a perfect cut in each one. So I'm gonna spin the camera, spin the camera around here a little bit so you can kind of see me do the cut. And here's my little my little hand shear. Now line that up and bring her down. And make my first cut. There. And just like that, I got a perfect straight edge. You can see the difference on this rough one. So now I'll spin this one around. And Get this in here cut. And there's my second one. So now, the next step is to, uh, I have this one, I have this one marked to bend, to bend, but I haven't marked, I'm, I only marked one side of this one, so I gotta still mark the other side of this one, so I'm going to, uh, cure, or stop the camera for a second, and then reset it up over there by the brake, and you can watch me bend them. So we're gonna try something a little different. I made a little stand for the, the camera today, and i uh just gonna have Deb come out at the end of the day. Instead of just showing you what I did all day, I'm gonna try to do little clips of me actually doing the things all day, so. You can, uh, it'll be more, more uh, informative maybe if you actually see me making the parts right from the beginning. And Deb doesn't have to come out here 10 times during the day and do the little clips. I'll just do them and she can kind of put them together. So we'll try that today and see how it works. So I'm going to shut it off for a second and then restart it. And then we'll uh, spin it around here. And my little stand here. There's my workbench with the, the frame on it. So I'm going to shut that off. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, try to get that camera in a spot where you guys can see it. So first thing I'm going to do is bend the liner up and bend the first bend. Just a hand bender, so I just reach down and uh, bring her up to there. Then I gotta get my little square. And check it roughly. I usually get it pretty close. And just a hair more. Right there. 
Okay, there's the first bend. Okay, then the second bend is going to go right here. It's going to line up with my mark right there. Now, when that brings it around, it usually touches up here. So you can see where the paint, where it chips the paint off. So let's do the second bend. And uh, let me check to see how. I am off a sixteenth of an inch. So sometimes I have to um, put a piece of square tubing in the in the vise and clamp it and take get it that extra that extra sixteenth inch. And sometimes I can just squeeze it. So there's the first part of the axle. And we'll see here where we're at. I think I might. It's really close. So let's see. Yeah, I'm a sixteenth of an inch off there. And I'm. Ooh, perfect on that end. Oh, let's see. It's funny how it bends it a little bit different on one end or the other, but it's always done that. I have to kind of. Go back and so this end, this end here has a little bit of a different. There it is. That's perfect. Now this one here goes the got to go the opposite way. Got to come out a sixteenth of an inch. Still got to come out of here. Mm. Right there. Okay, now the other side, double check. Since I pulled it out. So there's that one's perfectly square. And that one's perfectly square. So there's the beginning of my front pivoting axle on the 2470. And next, I'll bend this one the same way. I'm going to put him in here, line him up, and bring it up. Right there. Let me see how close we are. I actually went a sixteenth too far, so I'm going to actually pull back on it a sixteenth of an inch. And there it is. This end here is perfect. So now I'll spin it around. And uh, not spin it around, but just slide it out. And put it on my mark. And we'll bend it up to where it hits here. Okay, here we go. There. Okay, let's see how close we were on this one. So this. Okay, here we go. Let's see, that one came out perfect. And this end here, I can see it looks like it, no, that's not bad, right there. So let me see this side. That one is down. And that one's down, so let me put this in here real quick. And I'm going to just pull back on it, just a hair. And just this one here, just a hair. Right there. Let's see where we're at. Oh, perfect there, perfect there, perfect there, perfect there. So here's my first, my first two axles, or the, the only two axles, and uh, here's the spindle. The spindle will end up going on both ends, like so turning and then this axle here will pivot the front axle will pivot so that's the next step in the building the and then I will take a piece of two and a half inch and I'll cut that on the shear and then that'll be welded on and uh, that'll be the next step to the axle so we'll see in a little bit uh, as I get a little bit farther on the axle
Okay, I'm back. I'm cutting the circle end plates for the axle. And uh, I'll show you real quick. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Here's the two axles with the bottom well tack welded on. And here's the end the end caps. And then the spindles, the spindles will go on to those. So right now I got three of them cut with my little with my little homemade tool here. Now I got to uh, hook this in here and get the next one ready to go here. Okay, so we're putting this in here. Put this in here. And get ready to do the last circle. I don't know if you can see or not. What's going on? It's kind of new to try to have the camera there. Okay, I'm going to uh, start it right, right there and bring him on around. So let's see if we can do her. Circle number four. And see what I'm doing here. There, got the this off. Take my ground off. It goes back over here. And a little tool work. I think that's like four more. So 16, I've cut 16 circles with this little device that I made because I saw or somebody made one of these on the on the internet and I love it I love that little tool who thought it would cut 16 16 circles out so anyway there's the next step is right here let me get oh here it is then the spindle so I'll Use this extra lip here to, to do the weld, put some weld on the inside. And then on the spindle, that'll give me some extra surface to put the welds on the outside. But yet it'll still have the circles in it like the, like the one on the toy. So that'll make it look a little bit more like the, the real tractor. So, there's that. So next step is to weld on the end caps, clean them up, weld them on. Like so. And then weld on the spindle. So I'll see you later. And the spindle should be on. And uh, then the next step after the spindles are on is start crunching some numbers for the for the brackets for the front axle pivot point that will hook to the frame so okay see you in a bit shutting her down if I can figure it out here guys there we tried something a little different today I did look three little videos by myself I didn't get quite get the camera quite right to show my face but you guys could kind of see what I was working on so that wasn't too bad so we're, we'll fine tune it a little bit and uh, we'll see if you guys like actually seeing me do this stuff or if you don't. We're, we don't know whether to make the videos longer or shorter. So some of you asked that, that they be a little bit longer and some of you, well nobody says to make them shorter except Deb. 
Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> I always say like, wait, I gotta go in. Food's burning. That's my excuse. Nothing's on the oven. Nothing's on the stove right now, right? Right. Nothing. So Nothing. there's no reason for you to be complaining that you gotta go. Uh, oh yeah. None of these like cut, cut. <laughs> yeah, give me cut. that when no one can see me. Like, okay, wrap it up. Okay, guys, let's wrap it up real quick, and Deb will add the other ones that I did earlier today. So. We'll uh, do this real quick. So, okay, so you'll see in the first part of the video, me bending the axles, welding the bottom plate on, cutting the end cap circles, welding the spindles on. And so that's where I'm at right now. And next, next is I'm building the brackets for the pivot of the front, front axle. So this front axle will have a shaft going down the center of the frame and uh, on threads, and there'll be uh, nuts on both sides of these, these brackets so I can adjust the axle either forward a little bit or backward a little bit to get our, my exact wheelbase when it comes right down to it. And also I can, I can tighten, I'll be able to tighten that, the, the, the pivot how easy it pivots or if it's a little more tight. So so that's where I'm at right now, you guys. So we'll, uh, and I wanna say hi to a bunch of new people that just stopped by the last couple days and hope you guys enjoy, uh, ooh, hope you guys enjoy uh, watching my progress and looking back at some of the stuff that I've already made. So have a great Thursday, everybody, and we'll uh, catch you soon. Thanks again.